I did a thing. I did a thing. Thing one, thing two, and thing three. Yep. Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain. We only need each other, baby, you know we're the same. What's up besties? Good afternoon! It's almost half past one what? in the afternoon and I'm just picking up the camera right now because I literally just caught a break from work. I'm so tired. I was running on three hours of sleep and I was working, working. You know when you're working and you're like, and I was like, okay, let's take a quick power nap so we can recharge and get on with this because wow, three hours of sleep is no child's play. I was not coping. So I feel much better now. I thought, let me just pick up the camera and start vlogging because I haven't done that in a while. I've been too busy editing a whole bunch of videos because I had like video backlog, but now I'm all cut up. So here we are vlogging. I was eating grapes and then I pretty much just threw this on the floor. Um, Let's take that to the kitchen. I don't understand this weather. I don't know, is it like the transition from autumn to winter? This morning it was so cold, cloudy, miserable, the whole shebang. Last night it was dumping rain, hail storm and everything. Even got an SMS from my insurance to say, hail alert, move your car to safety. And now it's hot, it's hot. I don't get it. I'm sure the kids are burning where they are because they were dressed up for the cold morning. I did a thing. I did a thing. <laughs> and I want to show you guys what I did. Hold on. Thing one, thing two, and thing three. Yep. I don't know if you guys remember, but a little while ago when I was doing my Cotillon haul, I said that I was not going to buy the kids clothes and then the kids had everything they need for this winter season and all that fun stuff. But this time around, I thought, you know what? My kids are set. <laughs> they don't need winter clothes. The only person who needs top up might be really his tracksuit pants because he's grown taller and the knees are torn. So he might need the tracksuit pants, but otherwise all of them are sorted. And honestly, I meant every word I said. Literally, to the T, I meant it. But then fate must have been listening and decided to intervene because literally, like not even two weeks later, it looks like everybody went through a growth spurt. But Nala's long sleeve t-shirts are all of a sudden stomach outs, like they crop tops. Remember when we used to call them stomach outs in the 90s? It wasn't a crop top, it was a stomach out. <laughs> hey, that's I just, it just popped into my mind. Anyway, Bonona's t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, all of a sudden became crop tops, which was insane. Her pants, all of a sudden, like, grew holes. Like, she would put on her pants, and because they're so tight, they basically just ripped to pieces. And Rila obviously wears uniform to school, so I wasn't entirely bothered that my his long sleeve shirts from last season still fit, even though they look a bit, like, worn out because, you know, we wash them every single week without fail during winter. They're a little worn out, but I was like, she, he wears this at home, so it's not a big deal. Gamu all of a sudden also going through a gross spurt. Like all of her clothes are small. Homegirl has been into the short face and the crop tops. And I look at those crop tops. I'm just like, what happened to these? <sighs> all this to say, there was one night in Woolworths shopping for kids because they had nothing to wear. I looked at Bonolo one day coming from school with her stomach out long sleeve tee and these little pants that are like torn. There's a little hole in the back, you know, where the pocket seam is sort of ripped a little bit. And I was like, that's not okay. So right then, then I got up, I went to the shops and all of this happened. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got for the kids. Let's dub this a kids winter clothing haul because it is a winter clothing haul. I think the one person I was really worried about for the most part was for Nola because she still wears her casual clothes to school and it's getting colder here. I feel like really got more t-shirts than Bonolo, but at the same time, Bonolo got more value for clothes huh? than really because her clothes can take her through a week and then some in case I don't get to run the laundry or I don't know, it's all cloudy and the clothes don't get dry. So she got more clothes to get her through the week, but then really got more t-shirts if that makes sense. But you'll see what I'm talking about right now. Let's dive into this haul. But first, let me close this door because this lighting is bothering me there we go that's more like it so let's dive right into this haul the lady that was helping me the cashier at Willie she was so nice we had a fat conversation about you know kids stuff just how expensive life is right now and when she was packing our clothes well what I was buying she put them in three separate bags because it was for the three kids and so when I got home I was like oh actually that was so convenient that was so nice of her because then I was able to say to Dizzy this is for Nolo that's for Rila and that's for Camo go ahead and check it out you gotta show where the money is going anyway let's do the haul before I ramble on forever for Bonolo, so this cute 
little dress. Look at that. It's corduroy. And it looks like this. This, I'm imagining it being more for church than actually being for school because she, she doesn't like playing wearing a dress. She is her mother's child. I completely feel her. This little tracksuit set is essentially just pants. Nothing to write home about. It's got little pockets. I do not know why they make pockets in children's clothing, but they do that. And then this. I need it. Zip up tops for Bonolo. For the longest time, she's never had zip up track tops or just his jersey or something. And it's been such a struggle because everything had to go over her head. And when we out and you put stuff over her head, then the little baby has and the hair gets messy and it's become very stressful. So I needed something zip up and this was just right. And of course, you all know my favorite color is black, right? So this was a no brainer. I really like the stripe. It just says happy days, I think. Funny enough, homegirl is already wearing size four, like four year olds. And then this one that says take care of our planet. It's a short sleeve one. Really, really cute. I don't imagine her wearing this at school though, because that sand pit will destroy this t-shirt. This little cute loungewear set. I love that they make loungewear for the kids now. You know, they must get in with the program. It's got this nice, very soft material. I don't even know what material this is, but it's very soft and nice. Beautiful. And then the top looks like this. It's got a little beanie here in the back. It's so cute. They have matching ones for older kids. I wanted to get some for gum, so I will probably, when am I going to go to the shops again? Maybe later today or tomorrow. I'll get her some because I think they're going to look so cute together. Another zip up top. This one is just in this green color. It had like tracksuit pants, but I didn't pick the tracksuit pants for this one. Instead, I'm matching it with this little, what's this called? Brush for warmth little pants. It's got rabbits here at the bottom. She loves it. It's great. It's warm. It looks cute together. This navy blue denim jeans oh my gosh the color i love 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 this color and the subtle stone wash actually it's not subtle it's all up in your face but i really love this and then of course the one thing with woolies adjustable waist which i absolutely love anybody got time to be putting belts on children that gotta go pee on their own no and then i got a two-pack little jacket set one looks like this which i love again it's not a zip up but i imagine her wearing this you know on a chilly morning to school but not so much cold because it's not very it's not entirely warm but with a long sleeve or a vest underneath it should be fine it goes with this shepherd jacket oh my gosh it's so warm and soft and cozy i love 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 this these was like didn't they have one for really too it's, it's incredible a little two-pack set of t-shirts this one looks like this it's just cream white with a little is that a bear i think it's a bear <laughs> and then the other one is this one here and it says it's cool to care tracksuit pants because you gotta keep warm right beige with little polka dots nothing to write home about and this one is just plain pink with a little rainbow here on the side they have got elastic at the bottom all good stuff they're not going to be going under her shoes which is great two pairs of leggings just the striped ones and then the pink ones and when did you sew this striped ones with this he straight up said oh prison in uniform and i'm like what prison is this because here we were orange <laughs> this little brushed for warm leggings they're very warm inside very very warm which is what i love this little plain t-shirt right there it's just got a little heart on there nothing to write home about but i am going to be matching it with these little flare-up pants that look incredible little polka dots on there and this is going to be like a cute little matching set i picked her up some pjs which she's wearing to school today because it's pj day and then some slippers and some socks that's what i got for her i'm just gonna throw this behind me because i need to go now take out all the old clothes from the cupboard so that i can put on the new ones the torn up ones the old ones i need to get that out of the cupboards make space and then put on these ones but i want to show you quickly what i got for buddy basil literally when i saw this body warm i was like yes yes it's hella expensive which is annoying it's 379 but it's so cute and really has never had a body warmer before so i was like okay i am getting that no doubt about it pack of five t-shirts i wanted to get this for Bonola as well but she didn't have a size isn't it 
crazy how oh, maybe it's just me i feel like every time i go shopping for my kids the sizes i'm looking for are always sold out for some reason we all happen to have covid babies and like two years before covid babies and the clothes are always sold out it's so annoying anywho this is a pack of five t-shirts that i got for really that one there this one that that and the last one it wasn't entirely expensive how much was this it was 400 rand four divided by five was it value for money <laughs> let's see 80 rand yeah so you get one t-shirt at 80 rand and one t-shirt is typically 100 rand so yeah it was value for money really only has one pair of denim jeans right now i put them in the washing machine and dried them up and they shrunk so they are super skinny honestly i think he's super uncomfortable in those and he's just tagging it out because he thinks he looks cool but i went ahead and i picked them up this little pair of little skinny jeans i don't even know if they're skinny or just straight cut but they look like skinny jeans to me it's just gray and it looks really nice adjustable waist which is nice because we all know really is on the tiny side of life i mean he's he's a boy you know he's a typical boy even though it doesn't look like it he's growing taller and not bigger while Bernalu is growing bigger and not so much taller but i know they will all get to a phase where they just literally just shoot up and pretty much everything's gonna be too small and we have to go back to the shops so again the struggle he picked up these pants for himself i think he really liked the color he's never owned something that's like burnt orange Met it with this little t-shirt which looks really nice they didn't have a five so i took a six this i'm gonna want to put in the washing machine and dry it so that it can shrink i need this to shrink so that it can fit him well it looks really nice it's so unusual it's not like the typical colors i would buy for him but it looks really nice and i put it like against him so i can see that it matches his skin tone because i don't want him to be absorbed by the clothes and it, it it did the trick okay denim jeans these ones with the little stone wash really really cute these ones are just the straight cut ones yeah the gray ones are skinny for sure this is just the straight cut it looks really nice again adjustable waist this t-shirt it looked really really nice black is my favorite color so anything in black guys will, will literally just do the trick but it looked really cute so of course i had to pick it up and it was 120 rand i should have checked the price of the shop because i wasn't gonna buy it he needed PJs because really be this pajamas the knees are gone but also they were a little bit too short the last time I bought him PJs was probably not last year year before last and they were bought not even by me by grandma and he's outgrown them and it wasn't cute anymore so I thought okay let me top him up on pajamas he picked these ones he loved the helicopter on there it was paired with these pants another pair that he's wearing at school today I don't typically buy them a lot of PJs there are some people who say they can't really repeat pjs they wear them for one night and they wash them honestly i say wear them for two nights or three nights if you can before we put on a new set so because here we do laundry literally every single day or single weekday in this household it should be fine with just two pairs plus he's got the short sleeves ones that still fit and the room is very warm so he will still be able to wear those short sleeves even during winter so i wasn't entirely worried about that but for school when they're like it's a day have him have some long, long sleeve stuff that he should be good to go with. Not enough, I only bought her one pair of PJs because, you know, pajama day at school. She already has long sleeve PJs here at home that fit, but they were not like good enough to wear in public. Mm. That's the only reason why I had to buy her pajamas. Otherwise, I was never going to buy her PJs because the ones grandma bought, they still fit. Random sidebar. <laughs> He wears uniform at school, like I already said, but it helps you have like a solid pair of track suits to wear at home when we go to the shops, when we go to the park, when we want to go picnicking or whatever, you know, just at home even, you know, I want to get out of that thinking of you need to dress up to go outside, like just dress up to be at home kind of thing. Anyway, solid colors. You guys know me. He always, always has to have solid black track suit, a gray one and a navy one in his cupboard. These are the capsules, his track suit capsules for winter. Always. They have to be there because they are life-changing he can wear these with all these t-shirts that i just showed you guys and still look cute yeah oh my gosh i saw this t-shirt and i was like oh my god this was like this i mean adult sizing it's amazing it is gorgeous if i don't know if it's the green or just the golf shirt i don't know something about this is just so stinking cute that's the last thing i got for buddy basil i'm just gonna move this side 
I picked up a few things for Gamma. It's not much, but I noticed that she has like short shorts that those are her go-to. And then she has got a few tracksuits that she can wear in winter. Like maybe, let me not say a few, I think about two. She's got winter dresses. She's got a few things she can go through winter with, but she doesn't have like comfortable lounge wear to just wear and lounge at home. And so for her, she just needed two, three items to wear. And essentially that's it. Grayish black denim jeans with the stone wash because they look really really nice and they got an adjustable waist so it's like that's incredible she has black hair of pants or jeans and i don't know if it's a washing machine or whatever but they just look kind of sort of funny right now she still loves them she still wears them but i look at them and i'm like I need to learn how to wash jeans. How do you guys wash your denim jeans so they don't transfer color or so they don't like lose too much color? How do you wash them? Please don't tell me you're hand washing them because oh God, I don't think I have the energy for that. But I need to know because her denim jeans used to be so nice and black. Pop them in the washing machine. They came out looking, yeah, anything but black. Paired it with this little gray top. It looks really nice. It actually, it looks like the one I'm wearing. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Except hers has got the little detail here on the shoulders, which is really, really nice. And it's soft and all the fun stuff. Black loungewear, because this is in style. It's that soft loungewear and it's flare up at the bottom here with little details. Super cute. I thought, you know, with leggings or something. It looked really nice. Pair of loungewear set. It is so cute. Flare up at the bottom and it comes with its little top. I actually really want this for myself too. It's super cute. It's not much, but it's really, really cute. And I like the detail here on the side of this top. It's so adorable. This little dress, because when she goes to church, she has only the short sleeve dresses. I thought this long sleeve dress would be good. I only bought her one because I want to get a feel for how she feels. Like if she likes it, then we can get maybe two or three more. But for right now, I just got her one. It's long sleeve. It's that material. It's that comfortable material and it just says happiness, life is good or something. And it's just a really, really long dress. And then I picked it up the underwear. And what else was in here? Hey, buddy, you're home. I told you you guys come in. Come here. Is that a sweet? Is that a sweet? It says love. Yeah. Oh Let's show everybody your pajamas. Oh, these are really pajamas. Can I eat it? Ah. Okay. Mmm, it is so sweet. How was pajama day? Yeah. Was everybody wearing pajamas? Were you eating your finger the whole time because your peaches are soft? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right. Where's Benola? Get your lunch box out of your school bag. Did you bring your water bottle? Okay, get your water bottle to the kitchen as well. Anyway, that's that for the clothing haul. The kiddos are back. I didn't even hear them come in. I don't know what I was saying, but that's it. Um, I don't think I got them anything else. The slippers, I mentioned the jammies and the vest and the socks. And that's about it. Now let's go into the bedroom and actually start organizing and like purging and taking out all the stuff they're not wearing so that we can make space for all the new stuff. Nels, where's your PJ top? I'm so happy that it's Yeah, the kids have been here for two minutes and I already feel so tired. They've said mama, mama, mama like a million times. Mama, mama. Can we watch in Gamma's video, baby John? Okay. Because we can. We can. Mama, we can. Okay, let's go. Nice and comfy. What? Nice and comfy? Mm -hmm. What's nice and comfy? It, it was unicorns. Oh, yeah? Look, Savannah so is running his back back chicken. Yeah, Jamila. Yeah. Run, yeah. Jamila, for your life. Mm -hmm. Your teacher was making you guys watch Paw Patrol? No. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna watch Baby John. What happened to your knees, by the way? Where were you playing? Were you in the sand pit? Look at your knees. I didn't want to come here, but okay. Ooh. I'm alive now. I am patiently waiting for these bananas to get super ripe so I can make banana bread. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's gonna be so yum. Hello, Daddy. Hello. Where did you go? Washing downstairs. Let's look into the other one. Mm -hmm. 
This is literally my favorite view in this whole entire penthouse. I love it. Look who's doing our Instagram live. Smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you got the The way your body makes my heart beat sound It's amazing all the time You are the only thing I need in life Oh, I want you I left my Red Bull here. Yeah. Yes. Where is it? I literally left it in the kitchen. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Never mind, I found it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> mm. You're having a bath. Come on out to my. Huh? Wow. Mm. Shut the music, you bet. They must cast you go episode in your eye blue. It would mm. be such a good, like. Ah, get a bit of a little 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 bit of a